Oh, thank you. Elsewhere, a dramatic high-speed chase this morning brings traffic to a standstill on the freeway. It's a car chase that spanned four counties, more than 50 miles, and involves speeds of more than 100 miles an hour. In the end, Wisconsin state troopers successfully stopped a group of burglary suspects from fleeing the state. Our Chip Brewster is live in Milwaukee where the entire event began. What a morning it was for those on that road and for police. Well, that's right. It all started here really even before the chase. The van that led police on a high-speed chase supposedly stolen from ABC Daycare. Yesterday, employees came in to find the van taken. They tell us that later on a burglary had happened with a vehicle matching the description of their van, and that's the van that then led police on the chase. Now, we spoke to a state trooper who was involved with the pursuit. He told us exactly how it went down, and it's something you'll only say he see here on Fox 6. We had one of our cars set up here at the scale, and I set up at the next exit. Inspector Mark Barler was one of the roughly seven squad cars chasing down this white van in a cross-state pursuit. It ended in Kenosha County on Interstate 94 near County Highway C, just three miles north of the state border. While the chase conclusion looked like something out of a movie, it started way before this. Menominee Falls Police tell Fox 6 they received a call from Milwaukee Police Wednesday morning about a vehicle suspected in a burglary. Menominee Falls PD says MPD had lost sight of the van around 107th and Mill. A short time later, a Menominee Falls squad found the van near Woodman's and tried to pull it over. They say the van took off down Route 45. DOT cameras continued to follow the van up until Barler and his fellow troopers took action. The vehicle passed the scale. Our uh, mark squad got behind it. And at that point, the vehicle uh, sped up from 65 to over 100 miles an hour. This amazing video shows the high speed pursuit continuing through Racine County into Kenosha County. At this point, state troopers and deputies from Racine and Kenosha were all working in conjunction to stop the van. After a failed attempt to use spike strips at Highway 20, another state trooper just south of Highway 50 did the job. He successfully spiked the vehicle. Uh, the left front tire slowly deflated. The driver felt he couldn't get away anymore, and he pulled over into the median and stopped. The five suspects ended up getting out and laying down before being taken into custody. Despite the speed, distance, construction zones, and traffic, police say no one was hurt because of the chase. State police tell us the men were turned over to Milwaukee police for custody and are currently residing in the Milwaukee County Jail. No word yet on any charges for those men. However, Menominee Falls police say they will be giving them a ticket for eluding. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. Chip, I can't imagine what it must have been like to be a driver on the interstate today. And obviously you would pull over if you knew it was coming. But in some areas you can't because of the construction. What do state troopers say we should do if we're ever, gosh forbid, in that situation? Well, they did give one piece of advice, and that was just pull over to the right, regardless of where you are, construction zone or not. As you mentioned it, there's a section of about two miles where it was two lanes with concrete barriers on either side. I actually saw dash cam video where they were at one point weaving in between cars, but again, they just ask you to pull to the right. Chip Brewster reporting live tonight. Thank you.